This video looks at finding the x and y intercepts of linear relations. The x intercept is where the graph crosses the x axis. So if we look at this graph here, here's the x axis. The graph crosses the x axis right at this point right here. So that would be the x intercept. Notice that at the x intercept, the y value is equal to 0. We've moved left to right, but we haven't moved up or down. This helps us finding the x-intercept algebraically by substituting 0 in for y uh, into the equation of the relation. We'll do an example shortly. The y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. The graph crosses right up here. There's the y-intercept. Notice that we haven't moved to the left or the right. So for any y-intercept, the x value is always 0. That helps us find the y-intercept. In order to find the y-intercept of a relation, we can just set equal to 0 and solve. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. In this example, we'll find the x and the y-intercepts of y equals 2x minus 4. Let's start by finding the x-intercept. In order to find the x-intercept, we have to set y equal to 0. So we'll start with the equation that we were given. Substitute a 0 in for y. And once that's done, we can just solve for x. Subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. And that will leave us uh, with a negative 4 on the left and a negative 2x on the right. We want to solve for x, so divide both sides by negative 2. And we get an x-intercept of x equals 2. That means that the graph crosses the x-axis at x equals 2. We'll look at the graph shortly, but first let's find the y-intercept. In order to find the y-intercept, remember we talked about how you don't shift to the left or the right at all. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. Here's the equation with 0 in for x. Negative 2 times 0 is just 0. 0 plus 4 is just positive 4. So we get y equals 4. Uh, we could have guessed that from the equation. This is in slope intercept, y intercept form. We knew that the y intercept was 4 just by looking at that, but here's how you can check algebraically. In terms of a graphical representation, here's the grid. We figured out that the x intercept is 2. So I'm going to move 2 in the x direction, somewhere around there, and the y intercept is 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have our two intercepts. We can draw a nice straight line through the two points. And there is y equals negative 2x plus 4 uh, graphed by using x and y intercepts. Let's look at a slightly more uh, different example. I was going to say more challenging, but I'm not sure that it's more challenging. So in this example, we're going to find the x and the y intercepts of uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Now this is a linear relation. It's not written in slope-intercept form. Some people will call this intercept form because it's easy to find the x and the y-intercepts. So again, in order to find the x-intercept, we're going to set y equal to 0. Here's the equation that we're starting with. We're going to substitute 0 in for y. Sort of looks like this. Now 3 times 0 is just 0. 2x plus 0 is just 2x. We still have 6 on the right side. And now we need to solve for x. We can divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 3. The next step is to find the y-intercepts. To find the y-intercepts, we set x equal to 0. So again, here's the equation that we start with. Replace x with 0. 2 times 0 is still 0 plus 3y just gives us 3y equals 6. We can divide both sides by 3. I guess we didn't show that step in the last one. 3y divided by 3 is just y. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we get y equals 2. So the x-intercept is 3. The y-intercept is 2. We can look at this graphically again. X-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. The x-intercept was 3, 1, 2, 3. And the y-intercept was 2. Draw a nice straight line through the two points. And there's a graph of the linear relation 2x plus 3y equals 6, found by uh, 
finding the x and the y intercepts.